Hi, I'm uh, James from OHO. Um, we're from Bedford, New York. We started originally in CBD about three or four years ago, all full spectrum. We try very hard to make our products, aside from their cannabinoid content, we try very hard to make sure that they taste great, they smell great. So whether they, they had can cannabis in them or otherwise, they'd still be a fantastic product. We now have two greenhouses um, that we're working from. So there is an element, it was all sun grown. Some of it is outside. The majority of the smokable flour that we produce is all in greenhouses, so a controlled environment. We've got some very, very talented growers. Um, we're also looking at some genetics as well. This next year, we'll be releasing a uh, whole range of land race strains and working on those genetics. So we have things like Highland, uh, Thai, Highland Thai and Durban Poison. So we'll be doing some of that as well. And then on the edible side, we have like three skews and kind of our thing is low dose. We don't, we don't want to get people too messed up. These are functional products. The daytime one is like two and a half milligrams of THC with CBD and CBG. And then the night one is um, low, relatively low dose as well. It's, it's five milligrams of THC and then some CBN and some CBG, you know, like a one to one to one ratio. And then very exciting, we have uh, chocolates coming available end of July. So this is really high quality, single origin from Colombia and Ecuador. We sell a ton of it on the CBD side. That's been a huge success for us. So yeah, super excited. So generally on edibles at the moment in New York, as is the case with most emerging markets, every, a lot of people, a lot of brands are kind of trying to hit that high, uh, high percentage. And so we're one of the few that's kind of relatively low dose and a bit more functional. I would say that our, our products aren't necessarily to get you super high. They're sort of a great accompaniment for a day. You know, you wake up, you take you take a couple of gummies and it's just to help you sort of flow through a day. So we're not looking to sort of get people super high. It's, it's sort of functionality more than anything else. And if you look at more established markets like California, Colorado, you will see there's a lot more brands that are sort of hitting those touch points in terms of cannabinoid content.